What is good, y'all? Welcome back for part two of Alan Wake. Thank you to everyone who tuned into the first part. Your support really means a lot. What can I say? This game is awesome. Let's go. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Hmm. Okay. So what are we doing? Do we have a map with us? Undiscovered map. Oh, of course. Gives us music, I think. Various artists, right? Okay. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Yeah, let's look around here. I need bolt cutters. Yeah, pretty sure those will come in handy. Dead end. All of these are not bolt cutters. Fear the dark, fear the woods. Let's take the ammo. And another bandage, I think. Wait. Hmm. That's a good uh, teaser of things to come, I guess. Padlocked. What was this? Hello. Hi. Care to have a chat? Not really? Okay. There's a dog missing. Oh no. So that's the lodge. Welcome back, Anderson. Thank you, not Max. Hey. Hey. 
Ooh, hot dogs. Mm. Really? I'll be back in a second. Roger. Sir? Sir. Okay. Let's see what else we can find out. Ooh, a map. Thank you. Point of interest. Really? So what exactly is the point of interest here? I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. Always here. This building was constructed as a part of one of the early settlements in the Greater Bright Falls area. Built in 1898, this building has been both in private and public use through the years and has bravely stood the test of time. In 2015, it was carefully taken apart and relocated here in downtown Bright Falls, where it was rebuilt into its original glory log by log. The Elderwood Palace Lodge reopened in Bright Falls in 2016 and has served its customers faithfully ever since. Aha. Uh -huh. What is a point of interest here, though? So sleepy. I wonder why it's so dark in here. I can't force it open. Can't Hello. tell. How's it going? Can't tell if this is someone's room or not. I don't think it is. Death rally. Interesting. And yeah, now we're by ourselves in a bathroom. Okay, nothing of interest here. Let's see. Read Cauldron Lake. Look into news and rumors. Focus on 2010. Cross-reference with old case files from NYC cult. Similarities, commonalities, and methodology. Part of series. Find out name of good coffee from diner. Huh. Kind of wonder who's staying here. Pistols. Huh. Interesting uh, contents. Wait, wait, wait. Nah, seems fine.
It won't open. Okay. Looks like this guy doesn't want to talk. So let's just explore this area a little bit. Nothing here either. Yeah, you too. Thank you. I think. Take it easy, eh? Rest easy, buddy. We just keep finding these, don't we? Interesting. Wonder who's doing all this. Oh wait, this is our room. This is the mind place. I can't get through this. Pretty sure that's not a coincidence. Okay, so is this still a point of interest on the map? Some reason, yes. Coffee cup, mascot costume. Strange. Did you get lost, Anderson? You wouldn't believe the things I've seen, not what Max. Kind of coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> How much have you had? Not enough. That's all much. I need something to cut this. Oh, Interview the witnesses at the diner. Get it in coffee world! Get it where you can! Get it now! <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my... <laughs> I mean, our float will be the belle of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Just a few more days. It's a nice looking float for sure. I'll look around. First Deer Fest, See so you in a bit. What to Take your time. Here. It is the finest entertainment a town like ours has oh, to offer. Dear. Happiest day of the year. Cute. Like Christmas, but better. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. I hate the holidays. What? Jesse is dropping. Man, it is sweating in suits. Isn't it? Charlene, are you as comfortable as I am? You don't think the amount of hot, caffeinated beverages you've downed has anything to do with it? I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh, I'm in hell. <laughs> Wanda City. Hi! Can you just pop up, please? Any interesting guests lately? Any good finds? Zilch. But someone left a gross surprise under their bed for housekeeping. They were nuts. So... That's what all that screaming was about? Either that. Or the couple on their honeymoon. When you guys said nothing of what happens in this town, you were kidding. Not on the surface, really. Or in terms of a guy. Okay. I'm gonna get back to that one later, for sure. 
Let's see if these guys want to talk. Fellas? No. Mercetta won't roll over on the issues. Right, yeah. Wait, how far? Into town are we going right now? So there's a main street. Here's a diner. Okay, so let's explore the town real quick. This can't be the right way. Aha! Invisible walls strike again. Sort of. Oh, how's that mystery business of yours going? We missed you at trivia night. You did? How badly? <laughs> Stop avoiding the question mark. Sheriff station, huh? I guess we'll come here later. Looks like we're about to run into another invis wall. Let's see what that looks like. I can't leave here yet. Okay. Lots of work left to do. Let's see what's over here. Feels like something could be. Nope. Here's that symbol again. Can't use that for anything yet. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not a coincidence. Uh, excuse me. Are you fine? Why are we doing this dance? Ma'am. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Is this a diner? Take care. So the diner is where we're definitely Hello, going. Yes. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Thanks. I'll be right there to collect that cup. Just uh, keep holding it, though. Can't open this with my bare hands. Okay, 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 but that's good still. We keep finding relevant things. Like that. And, uh... We'll have more stuff to unlock. That's good. Who else to keep this city clean if not I? Who 
themselves to protect its citizens from the dangers of unsanitary conditions. I guess I'm the same man. Sir. Trash, garbage, refuse, call it what you will. I will make it disappear. Okay, so we found another padlock here. Let's check this far corner here. A pretty nice day to be working outside. I don't envy the guy stuck on desk duty. This is where the action is. here yet interesting okay okay now we've definitely checked it all out did find another clue and a padlock so progress was made the world may be drowning in its own waste, but not this town. I wonder if we can go here, though. And it looks like we can. Sort of, maybe. I can't tell. The passage of time is deceiving. The days of our lives are fleeting. And they end in the end. Yeah. Ladies. So, how have you been? I hear things are looking up for you. Oh, thank you. Yes, that's correct. My efforts are being rewarded in abundance. How lovely. I'm proud of you. As am I of you. Uh, y'all are creepy as hell. Aha. There's another lunchbox. Exactly. I wouldn't believe how hard it was to track down these lunchboxes. Thank goodness for the internet. more still worth it we need those upgrade points Stars, the sky where they fly. Down, Down below, below we flow. Below we flow. flow. Okay. Um. Tweet, tweet, my sweets. Heard any good news lately? I'm all ears. Ears and eyes. Now, why'd you go and do that? Stomping around like that and scaring the poor little things. If not for the birds, I might just go a little nutty. Oh. A little cuckoo, if you will. <laughs> okay, then. Only normal people here. Perfect. I'm guessing this is another... Right. And go here. Oh. 
better is better. Already forgot the name of the other one, but yeah, it's whatever. Okay, let's do the diner thing. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Hmm. You can go ahead, Anderson. We'll be here. So this is the same actor that was in... What was it? Quantum Break? I want to say. Not sure. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm going to be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. It'll take your mind off things. We're getting some Take more new easy. folks in town, I see. Interview the witnesses. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Can you be so calm? Corpse is a part of the job. Can't dwell on it too much. Jukebox is out of order. Poor old thing can only take so much of the same song being played over and over and over. I'm as big a fan of Coconut as the next person, but come on. <laughs> That's great. Let's go in from this way, kind of block the exit for them a little bit. Good day. Hey. Interesting. You okay, sir? Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Oh, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Um, let's start with why were you at Cauldron Lake? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. And... yeah, this. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake. He was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. 
And then we bolted and called the cops. Um, why do I think it was a cult? What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. Mean. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found her. <laughs> the whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Hmm. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Interesting. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. Hmm. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. I told you not to keep that thing, Timmy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter? That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Go to the sheriff's station. Um, that was weird. What the hell? Can we find anything useful here? Another moose head. This is not a coincidence anymore. I feel bad for these guys. What? You did not just moose at me. Something to force this open. Hmm. 
Hmm. No? Looks clear. Go to sheriff's station. Okay. Wait. A cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies they didn't listen. And they wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. This is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. Thank you, Saga. Okay. Looks like we're clear. Except for we can talk to Rose somewhere. Let's see. What does Rose have to say? So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there will be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. All right, looks like that was it. All set. So My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not going to find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. What do you think that's Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Have a nice day. Might as well look around. Agent? What do we just pick up? Battery pack. We're charging the flashlight. As you know, the investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. Sheriff Breaker wants us to cooperate fully. Aye, aye, ma'am. I'm being serious, Nelson. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I 
I'm a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only I had a tour guide, also. It's bear season. Oh, a bear. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yako. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, Fuck the government! We have both covered. Oh, oh. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere! Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. The tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermal. Okay. So wherever their place is, there's bolt cutters there. Interesting. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. Please. Third time this week I come in for a late shift and there's no coffee in the machine. You take the last cup, you brew a new batch. Can we scroll through these? Yes. Chet, I had to break it to you, but you need to have a face capable of growing a beard to make effective use of beard oil. I knew Marco's beard was too soft to be natural. What brand is he using, Lucy? Since my numerous... Friendly reminders about not having personal packages delivered to the station have gone unheeded from here on out. If you've seen fit to send something to the station, I will see fit to announce to the station what you have received. Is it a federal offense to open someone's mail? Yes, it is. Is it a personal offense that I need to share my desk space with you late night impulse buys? Yes, it is. You have been warned. Admin PS Officer Lightfoot, your beard oil is ready for pickup. <laughs> That's funny. Front desk computer and admin email are not to be used for personal quarrels or other unofficial business. And remember to wash your coffee mugs. Hey gang, the annual event you've all been eagerly awaiting is upon us again, the community outreach barbecue. No, I don't want to hear any grumbling. This is a valuable opportunity to connect with the community. Statistics show that officers who are well integrated with the communities they serve see lower instances of violent crime in their precincts and are more effective in their policing and have overall better mental wellness. This is for your benefit, so take it seriously. The community voted dunk tank victim this year will be, drumroll please, Deputy Thornton. Congratulations, looks like everyone's getting retribution for that speed trap on 12C at last, eh? Friendly reminder that anyone out sick on the day needs to provide a written doctor's note or you'll be assigned night shift for two weeks. Anyone who replies all to complain about their assignment with volunteering as the assistant for Officer Lightfoot's magic routine, Tim. <laughs> okay. I wonder if this is loot we might need later. And whether it's a bad thing to be picking it up now, but... Oh. Interesting. They locked up an innocent man. I swear I didn't. 
didn't do anything. They're a lying bunch of bastards. And who might you be? Interesting. I can't force it open. What kind of nut counts toilet paper rules? Sounds like you've got too much time on your hands. No one of you stealing the toilet paper. I've been counting them, and there's an entire roll missing every day from stock. Theft is taken seriously around here. It's a sheriff's station, for Pete's sake. One of these days, I'm going to catch you red-handed, and you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Okay, now we've checked everything. Let's go. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Uh huh. Pain medication, trauma pad. Okay, so we have a couple of those, but now. It doesn't budge. I wonder why it's so dark. Feels like we literally need a flashlight for a. Uh... More or less scripted okay. scene. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Let's check absolutely everything. Take those. Must be locked from the other side. Okay. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. It doesn't add up. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Huh. Uh-huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Let's check this out. Bookers describe multiple attackers wearing deer masks. I guess that goes into the killer profile section. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Aha. Uh -huh. Case closed. So where does this go? The cold of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cold case. Exciting.
Okay, case closed. Called stashes. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Aha. This one was by the car, so this one is Bright Falls area. So there's five total. Here there's nine total. Interesting. Accumulate clues about broader ongoing topics. Okay. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Ooh, look at us having clues. Cult goal, who's involved, what kind of cult. They're hiding their faces. They aren't established enough to operate openly. Connection to Deerfest. I think the necklace goes here too. Cult symbols. Jewelry can be used as a subtle indicator of membership, but this isn't subtle. A badge of pride? Doesn't make sense. Graffiti is in plain sight. Does it have a deeper significance? Triangle figures made from twigs. Hmm. What's the purpose? Marking territory? A warning? Feels derivative like something out of a horror movie. So there's five of those. Five of these. Who's involved is four. Called goal. We need to talk to someone. Okay. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Anything to learn from the body. Let's go. <clears throat> Ritual writing. Let's write this on the heart. How I can make out what it says. We had another one of those, right? Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. Doesn't make sense. Put up a fight before they restrained him. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Chest trauma is clear cause of death. Cause of bloating unknown. Strange tattoos on skin and heart. Something was inserted into the chest cavity. I think we've got everything for now. page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here.
see into bright light. Stand the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Okie doke. Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Aha. Uh -huh. Go. Vanished. 